I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Salesforce for social media to uh, search for uh, appropriate Twitter posts. So I'm already logged into the system, um, I'm actually logged into the call center area, but if I move across the Salesforce for social media area, there's a little bit of setup we need to do here by clicking to the social setup area. Um, I need to set up my Twitter account, which I've already done. I've got a private Twitter account, which is active and validated. And this is the key area. We need to go into the Twitter keywords area and set up the, uh, the search strings that we're looking for. And I'm looking for a very simple search string. So any Twitter posts with at reged in it. So I could add to this using the, the, uh, the Twitter search uh, criteria. Um, but uh, at this stage, I just want to keep it very simple. So just anything, any post with the term at reged in there. So uh, let me go to my conversations area, my Twitter conversations area, and I'm going to get some conversations now to uh, include that, uh, that particular search string. So hit the get, get conversations button, and it's give me a little, uh, little page here with a few options in here. I just want to search for that particular search string. Um, I could have multiple search criteria. I can filter those search criteria, etc., to run for bi different business cases. But I'll just run that simple search now. And the system comes back and tells me 27 conversations have been created. So I'm going to drill in and actually see those conversations. So I come back into my Twitter, converse, Twitter conversations area, and I can see these conversations, and I can sort them by ascending sequence, descending sequence, etc. So I've got full control of the actual conversation, conversations themselves. If I scroll up, scroll down a little bit here, I can actually see the conversation. Most of these conversations are from individuals. Some are directly from Reged, where they're highlighted with the Reged logo, etc. And these are actual live Twitter feeds. So uh, the feeds at the top of the page here are actually live from today, 10.05. I'm working in the, in the Pacific time zone. Um, now I want to show you a couple of options that we've got here to actually uh, handle these live Twitter feeds. I want to be sensitive to the fact they are live. So there's only a few things that I'm going to actually show you during the actual course of the demo. But if I select this particular feed here, this is actually a feed here from an author called Lorraine Carver. It looks like she's actually retweeting something. And I've got a number of different options I've, I can handle, I can, I can use to handle this particular uh, Twitter post. I could create a contact or I could create a lead, or I could uh, do things like create a case. I've also got some other options here to sort of create a solution or solve by community, etc. So I've got a number of easy buttons to access here to make the, uh, the user's uh, life a lot easier when they're handling a number of Twitter posts. But in this particular case, I just want to go in there and actually create the case. So hit the Create Case button. And if I come back into my, uh, into my feed and just highlight that particular uh, row, I can actually see across on the right hand side, it actually gives me the, the case number. So I can drill directly into that case number. But just before I do that, I actually want to go in and actually show you the actual live uh, Twitter conversation that's been, that's been captured. So this actual conversation message that uh, Lorraine posted, it's actually a retweet of some other, some other post. We can see here the author URL, so we can go in there and validate the author, etc., as we need to. I can see down here we've actually got the case number, so everything's in line here for the uh, the user to be able to click quickly get to the information they need. We can also see the actual Twitter search that generated this particular uh, conversation. So again, we can validate what the search criteria were. And in, in a similar vein to the previous screen we had. Uh, we saw rather we've got a number of buttons we can uh, we can use to actually manage this particular conversation. We can delete it, create a contact, add to campaign, etc. I can uh, do a thumbs up, thumbs down. I could potentially reply in line back to that Twitter original Twitter post. Now I don't want to do that because it's a, as I mentioned it's a live Twitter feed. But the thing I do want to do is actually go into the case area. So this has created that case directly from that particular Twitter feed. It's put the uh, the Twitter post as the subject line. It's assigned an owner. It's got to indicate. Sorry, it's indicated the status, the source. Here's, this is a key thing here. We can actually just see the source of these cases. So whether it's coming via email or phone, or in this particular case, the Twitter feed. I can see the status indicator, etc. So I've got a case here I can actually use to sort of track this particular issue to make sure it's resolved appropriately. So let me just come back up here to actually re to uh, review what we've done. So we start off in the, in the conversations area, and uh, we can actually mark each of these conversations. So we can flag them for, for to create a case or create a lead, etc. And we can drill into the original posts. So it makes it very easy for a user to be able to use this Salesforce for social media to appropriately handle the, the Twitter posts to make sure the the appropriate responses are going back to the originators of those posts. Okay, thank you.